Hello Wargamers and welcome back to the Battle of Fredericksburg with me Bubble Box as we move to assault the assault at Murray's Heights. Okay so meanwhile remember we did the big bigger flank attacks in the last battle uh, um, that but now we're kind of back over at the town where we were before remember we took this town I believe across these pontoon bridges at the beginning of this battle so meanwhile the attack at Murray's Height is commencing. Okay. The rebels use the cover of a thick stone wall and behind them there is a large number of cannons defending the hill. Your advance will cost the lives of many men. Oh, I'm not liking this. Not liking this. Okay, so we have... Uh, yeah, this is not our best infantry. This is two core, I think. And the reserves, okay, as well. So these aren't our best infantry, but we have got nice guns here, I think. Some quite nice guns to try and break down the defences. So we've got a hill on this side. But a wall all the way down there and in fact it goes all the way across here as well on this side we've got oh hold on we've got a secondary wall along here a wooden one uh-huh looks like a supply dump in the middle so this is where a lot of the units are going to be and there's our capture point there marshy ground on this side marshy ground open ground with rivers that is just that there is an absolute killing zone they're going to have defences along here. They've got a wall along the top there even as well. They're going to have defences along here. And they're going to have defences along here. Possibly along this stone wall as well. Yeah, this is going to be a difficult one. I've got quite a lot of units, quite a lot of artillery. And I think the best thing to do is concentrate our artillery in one position. So just as I did before, I'm just going to set out my units in the positions that I want them and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, most of our push is gonna be on this right hand side over here, the enemy's right. I'm still not that happy because we are kind of going up a, up a hill, which I don't like to do at all. We've got a lot of artillery though that can, actually we need to probably move this, uh, move some of the artillery, we'll move this artillery forward so that it can get into a much better position. even that this artillery can engage so we need the artillery engaging we're going to pressure cook and try to be hitting cook as much as we possibly can move wood up this flank we can move down the middle we're not going to move too close to Kershaw though because we're just going to get flanked okay we've got our skirmishes in there we've got Grant with some cavalry they might come in useful later they're coming over to our right as well and I've just got a few units just sitting to defend in the rest of the town. But the big push is going to be on this side. Oh, you can see the damage. That's why I don't like attacking in open ground. But there's no choice on this map. No choice. Let's start putting some, trying to put some hurt, on, hurt onto Cook. So cannons are in a better position. And I want these cannons to move right up behind my units so that we can get some close-up fire into the enemy get these guns as close as we can get them should do the trick well, we're taking you can see we're taking so much damage we've got to take positions really quickly so he's, he's got heroic morale already so it's going to take some it's going to take some firepower to push him off that position and we're going to have to do it with cannons as well got cold crane here in reserve with grant to take positions of anyone that wavers and plus to pull back then we've also got Rowett that can help out in that respect and the cavalry which we're going to bring right up on the flank here. So the cannons can get themselves into a better position here to get some hurt into Cook. All the guns focusing on Cook. Krasnowski seems to be taking the most of the punishment at the moment. Um, what am I doing? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, oh yeah, taking a lot of deaths. Woods not faring quite so badly. And Krizanauts is actually broken, so we're going to move... We'll move Cold Crane forward to help out into that gap. Unlimber these guns so they start... For Ooh, Braggs is a bit too far forward. Actually, we'll just let him do his thing there. We'll get Cold Crane up to help him out move through that gap. And then we'll get Rowett around, Rowett around here as well. Got Malroy there as well. Krasnowski can take a little rest just where he is there. Whiting needs to move forward, I think, just to protect our guns more than anything else. Perhaps 
So moving forward, everyone's targeting the same position. Yes, good. Let's bring some resupply up as well. Right, how's Cook's morale? Still heroic. Oh my god. Okay, let's bring this cavalry up on the flank as well. Cold Crane's getting into range. Look at the craters. <laughs> so much fire going into Cook. Look at all that fire going into Cook. And he's still got heroic morale. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, let's get Milroy up, ready to take the position of somebody when they break. We've got some skirmishes that we can bring across to this side as well. Actually, we need Grant up to help out and Brewster as well. Got plenty of supply. If there's one thing we've got in this battle, it's supply. If one thing we haven't got is good infantry. Oh, more canisters going in on Cook. Wow, how has he still got heroic morale? Jeez. Okay, so Bruce is in a position. How's our morale doing? Oh, pretty good there for Whiting. In fact, Cochrane's taking all the heat. It looks like. In fact, Cochrane's dead. So he's going to break real soon. We're going to put Mara Milroy in his position. In fact, let's just pull him back. Oh, pull him back. Pull him back. Pull him back. Oh, he nearly went the wrong way. And put Milroy into his slot. I'm sure Milroy's going to love going in there. And then we'll bring row it up he can go in after Milroy. Woods still taking damage but ooh that was a big hit gotta break this guy still heroic morale you're kidding me holy crap okay. more resupply fourth I think this guy this battle is almost impossible I mean, it's a, no way we're going to attack through all this marsh and open ground Attacking the centre would be worse than attacking where we are now. So we're having to attack in the open, up a hill, slightly. So, really not the best. So Cook getting absolutely pounded. He is taking a lot. He is, we are killing a lot of Cook's units, I think. Still got heroic morale though. How can he... St uh, he must have heroic morale to take all this canister fire in the face I could charge him with my cavalry but I've got one one cavalry brigade and you can bet he's got guns sitting behind here oh is he wavering I thought he was wavering there for a second still got our MRL seriously seriously guns all still targeting him yeah so Milroy's gone so Rowett's the next into that slot and then I think we'll bring Krizanowski back again as well. Got to keep the pressure up. Grant's ready to go in place of Whiting. If Whiting breaks, how's Whiting's morale? Morale? Whiting's morale is actually still pretty good. He's not taking too many deaths either. So it looks like Cook is concentrating his firepower on the center on Rowett and when Rowett's not there on Woods. So Krizanowski is ready to take Rowett's position. Cook! Eager morale, okay, so not heroic anymore at least, so we are doing him some damage. Ooh, you can see Rowett's morale just go down every time he gets a salvo. When Cook unleashes the salvo, you can see morale, Rowett's morale just sink through the floor. There it goes. Wow, okay. Heroic morale again, seriously? I think they've upped their morale regain somehow so that they stay in position in these 45 positions because these 45 positions are very difficult to take sometimes. Some of you might be saying just charge him but believe me if I charge him my units are just going to rout because they're going to have units sitting behind here and I'm just going to volley in the faces of my units. So this is the only way to do it, in my opinion. Howard taking more damage. There goes his morale. It's nearly down. Let's pull him back after his next salvo if he doesn't break. One more salvo off for Howard. Come on, fire. There it is. Oh, he has in fact broken. Right, Krasnowski, it's your turn. Get in that gap. Howard, pull back, my friend. Why are you still there? 
Rowett, I have no control over you. Right, just route back. Thank you. Kuznowski, you're next in. Eager morale again. Better not go back to heroic. Guns need to just keep pounding, pounding, pounding. Come on, Cook, break, will you? How's Woods doing? Woods is doing not too bad. Whiting is actually doing okay. And he's a... No, he's not a skirmisher. Cuts is our skirmisher. I could just pull Cuts back, actually. Uh, he's absorbing... He's kind of protecting our guns, so I think we'll leave him there. Still eager morale. More canister fire in the face for Cook, but it's just not breaking him. We've lost it. We've lost. Oh no! General Brigadier General Double W. Krzanowski has just died, so they are now without a commander, which is bad news. Who's going in next? I want to try and keep one fresh brigade, and that's going to be. We'll bring Rowett back forward, shall we? No. Who's ready? Grant's probably ready for some action. We'll bring him round. He can go in that gap next. He can go into the kill zone next. Eager morale. Okay, okay, come on. Have a salvo with the guns. There we go. Got our whole battle. We've got one hour 56 of in-game time to go. To try to break them. It's quite a long time still, so I'm happy just to sit here, pound away. Still not going to charge. We'll get destroyed if we charge this position. So poor old Krizanowski, who's now dead. His brigade are still are not looking brilliant. We're going to replace them with Grant after their next salvo. Get them to fall back. They'll just fire another salvo off. In fact, they just broke. Okay, let's send Grant into that position now. Unfortunately, I've got all downgraded rifles with this brigade as well. All my best 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 weapons are actually on the bigger map that we played yes in the last episode. What's Grant got? Yeah, the downgraded Springfield's not the best. Still eager morale. Oh my god, come on. Right, who's going in next? Bring Milroy back. Milroy's kind of recovered. Yeah, we'll bring Milroy back in next. Into that little gap. A lot of dead blue blue coats, so they used to be called, I think. A lot of dead blue coats there. Not so many dead red coats. No, the, no, no, red coats are the British. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, blue coats. Yeah, I don't know whether they call did they call them blue coats? I don't know if they called them blue coats and grey coats. Blue coats and grey coats, maybe? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. Right, Cook, we've got him below 700 soldiers. And he's only on confident morale now. So we are slowly eating away. We've got enough units to do the job, I think. But the question, big question is what's going to be behind him as well. Um, Shall I try and sneak forward some cavalry? Let's try and sneak forward some cavalry. I've just got a feeling that um, they're going to get, just going to get flanked. So, but we'll try. We'll try it. We've got to try something. Send them right along there. Okay, down below 700, 650 now. Confident morale. Okay, how's Grant doing? He's not doing too bad. Milroy's ready for action. Oh, that was a nice hit. Oh, there's some guns there. Let's just try and scout out what's behind them. If the trouble is, if I charge those guns... Oh, no, we're being hit from somewhere up here. If I try and charge those guns, those guns are going to shoot me, and so is Kershaw. In fact, those guns have turned on my cavalry. Let's move my cavalry right over here, see if we can divert their gunfire a little bit. Okay, he's down to nearly 600 now. Still confident morale though. Keep plugging away. Keep taking those losses. Grant's gone. Milroy, your turn into the gap. So 
Cavalry around the back. Just going to scout, see what they've gone. So at least we've turned their guns and they're attacking over this side now. Let's move him right back. Let's move him across to see what he can see across there. I'm wondering whether to try to move some skirmishes across as well. We might as well. Might as well try it. Right, who's next? Um, Cochrane, are you ready for some action? Oh, you haven't even got a commander. Let's use Rawat next. He's still alive at least. Milroy, no, doing okay. Morale's still 76%. Cook's below, well below 600 now. And um, confident morale still. So, <gasps> supply wagons. Supply wagons. Supply wagons. Oh, they're running into the trees. Let's see what's over there. Yes, we are turning their guns, which is good. Let's get Sullivan across. We might actually... I don't mind skirmishing their guns might be okay, but not charging their guns. Oh, we've actually been routed here. Yeah, okay. So we're not going to get through over across that river, I don't think. Let's attack Cook from behind, see if that does anything to his morale. Come on, keep going Sullivan. We need a breakthrough here. Milroy, still not doing too badly. Rowett's getting into position to take over. In that gap. Okay, keep going, keep going. Don't stop. Keep pumping away in there. You get into a little bit of cover over here. It, keep hassling. Getting down below 500 men now. Still confident morale though. Milroy's going to break real soon. Just leave him there for another couple of salvos. Leave our cavalry there. We can use them later. Let's keep flanking Cook. Come on, Sullivan. Still confident morale. We're going to have to kill every single unit in Colt's, Colt's Cook's Brigade before he actually routes. Nice, nice cannon fire. Nice. Keep going, Sullivan. Okay. Have we got any other skirmishes along here? No. In fact, we've got cuts, haven't we? I'm going to pull cuts back from that position and I'm going to bring him round on the flank as well Murray's Milroy's holding out quite well although well, he's about to break yep there he goes Rowett your turn down to below 450 now I bet they're loving walking into all those dead bodies it's getting below 400 still almost <laughs> Crazy, how can it still have confident morale? That's ridiculous. Right, who's going in next? Who's got a commander? We're going to send Grant. Yeah, we'll send Grant in afterwards. Let's get him in position. Sullivan, keep hassling. We'll bring cuts around the outside here. Okay, just have a little peek over there. See what you can see, my friends. In there, Sullivan. Okay. Down below 400. Steady morale. Okay. If we can just get to the top of this hill. This will be on level ground then. So we're causing their guns to turn and then we'll just pull back. So we'll move up, let their guns turn, and then we'll move back. We're not going to charge because they've got. Barksdale sitting in behind them. Okay. Come on, Sullivan, keep hassling. In fact, Sullivan, yeah, one more salvo, then we'll bring cuts into your position and we'll move you a little bit further in. Yeah, you take a couple out each time, I think. Causing as many deaths as you are dying kind of thing so let's move you across move cuts into your position actually let's bring Krzynowski through to here to try and flank a little bit 
And let's move woods up the hill as well. Ooh, we've got the guns there. Let's just have a flank attack on to Cook. Let's move Cuts to have an attack on Cook as well. Steady morale still. Getting below 300. Oh, Sullivan's taking lots of fire. Let's move Sullivan right along on the flank. Cuts gets the salvo in. Down below 300. Still steady morale. How's Rowett doing? Grant's ready to move into position. So Rowett's still doing okay. Okay, now Woods is engaging and Rowett and Whiting. Go and have a little pop at their artillery. Cuts can keep hassling. And then we'll get another brigade with Krizanowski in over on this side as well. Rowett is okay. Cook is wavering. Yep, he's wavering at last. At last. Oh, Sullivan's broken. Now, let's bring these guys forward just to attract the uh, attention of their inf of their guns again. It's going to break soon. One more salvo with the guns. Come on. I if I can get a salvo off against these guns. Sullivan's had enough. He's getting back behind the lines. Let's get one shot off before they do. Ah, took a few out. And as you can see, Berkshire's backing them up. So let's pull them right back now. Okay. Right, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Let's move up this hill. Right, let's move forward. At last we can move forward. Let's move Grant through the gap. And let's move Milroy through that gap. We'll give Whiting a little bit of a rest. As our guns now start to hit Kershaw. And these guns we need to get close and up on the hill over here. So, slight breakthrough. Let's just try to move forward. We need to take these guns out next. Now we need these cavalry in on the action. these guns out. Let's get Sullivan across here. We need his help. Guns are moving forward. So next it's these guns and it's Kershaw. So we can target Kershaw there. Whiting can target Kershaw as well. Grant can take. We need to take these guns out. So let's try and take these guns down as quickly as possible. Okay. Okay, it's looking a lot better than it was five minutes ago. Let's get Cole Crane round on the flank as well. Grant across. Guns still all targeting nicely, I think. Yep, we can get Breathe. Maybe get him up right behind Milroy. Okay, these guns have got to go down soon. Okay, continue tacking, attacking or withdraw. I'm not sure what that means, but we shall find out what that means at the beginning of the next episode. It's going OK. We took a lot of losses in that one, that's for sure. But I think that was inevitable. I think that was kind of pre-programmed into that battle. Um, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.